Is it because you're that tall? Your legs are that high. Is that, oh, like God. You're unfolding you yourself. <laughs> 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 Put that oh, over there. That, yeah, put that. They very there. well have just become our best bit for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of what we were going to do before, actually, we were going to pick something that was in showbiz. Yeah. As our best bit for Monday. It yeah. was so lovely. Made us well up again. And this was Tom Fletcher and Giovanna on the announcement of their new baby. They did a video for their first baby, which was so gorgeous. Bump <sighs> growing. But, yeah. And this one, I think, is just as cute, if not cuter. Answer. Bye, babe. Best bit for a Tuesday, and it's actually a bit we didn't mention on the telly, so a little bit of behind-the-scenes gossip, mm -hmm. because the, the, the rowing ladies who, uh, who had covered 3,000 miles, uh, 67 days uh, across the Atlantic, mm -hmm. uh, the one moment that they nearly came unstuck was the fact the traffic was so... We put them on a boat out here so that they do. could wave to us and then all we had to do is get the boat in and get them from Blackfriars Bridge in the cab down here. Terrible traffic. Nearly didn't make it. In fact, we had to shift all the show around to get them in at the end, didn't Everything we? was in the wrong order uh, because uh, they'd made it across the Atlantic but they couldn't make it from the bridge to here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oops. Best bit for a Wednesday, it is about as easy a best bit as you could ever pick. It's so the best bit, it's out of this world. And what's extraordinary is when you say to someone, for the first time ever in your life, when you come back and get your feet on the ground, or when you return to Earth, and yeah. all of the things that we say on a daily basis to people, mm. actually, for him, it was real. I know. It's so So, so when surreal. your feet are back on the ground, come and see us. It was, of course, our chat, which was so, so cool with Tim Peake. The moment the hatch opened and the airlock flooded with sunlight um, and we went outside, it, it just felt incredible to be in the vacuum of space and just to have that thin visor separating from you, you and this wonderful, incredible view looking down on planet Earth. I'm imagining you're not really having to hold that microphone as opposed to just having to hold it down. If you were to let go, would it just float off? <laughs> That's just brilliant. <laughs> 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 Absolutely, yes, and that, that's the <laughs> that's the strange thing, of course, is uh, is in space you don't have to put anything down. That can be a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's nice to be able to put things down, and sometimes it's great to be able to just let things hang in the air. Especially if you're eating food and drinking a drink, of course, it's great. You can just have these things floating in front of you. Well, our best bit today was a bit of a hangover from yesterday because we discovered somebody sent us a link about how to correctly open mm -hmm. one of those stock cube famous things that yes, shall the, not be the, named. No, the, 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 you're absolutely right. The, the Lord the, the, Voldemort of stock cubes. Who shall not be named. Yes. And, uh, and so you, the little foil cubes, uh, and for years and years, I mean, it's surprising. So many people have said, oh, my God, I can't believe you didn't know that. And an equal amount of people said, oh, that is the best revelation ever. Mm. But you don't take the foil off, those little bits, you know, the bits of foil all over the place, and then squeeze them in your hands like that. No, no, no. Which they used to do on the advert. Good point. Uh, Good uh -huh. point. Not even they the know advert, how to do it properly. But you, uh, you take the little tiny folds out of the foil and you, you squeeze it in the foil and, and, and the powder is in the foil. Take the little thing out and sprinkle it in your chilli. Who knew? Who knew you could, you cannot name it, but who knew you could open a <laughs> cube like that? Well, for years, we thought that the foil that covers these tiny cubes, and I repeat, of the unnamed flavouring cubes, as, of course, we can't reveal the brand of this particular stock cube, but we did promise to show you the technique today. So, Phil is going to demonstrate like a true professional. A lot of people on, uh, on Twitter uh, saying that you That's should technique. make sure that you open the little foil things to give a bit of space, otherwise it, they, can, they can burst Burst. prematurely. But then you just, once they're in the foil wrapper, then you squeeze them. Lift up all the, all lift the sides. Lift up all the little bits. And then they are crushed in there without having to be crushed between your fingers. And then you... Uh, we have we've the got cruise lunch here. here. here this is are. still very welcome. Rustled it up this morning. And then you, then you do that. And then you do that. And look, you sprinkle it in. And you get that very well-known smell of that very well-known brand of stock cube. That we, that can't, we, that we that know, we can't, that we just obviously can't mention. cannot name. Of course. <laughs> now, there's uh, just uh, six weeks to go until we throw a live wedding on this morning. 
Now, we had a lovely bit of reminiscing yes, on this morning nostalgia. today. We took ourselves back to the year 1988. Yes. It was the year that this programme this morning started up in Liverpool with Richard and Judy, the legends that are. Yeah, I was 14 years old. How old were you? I'm not saying. <laughs> it, was also <laughs> older the year, than that. it was also the year, of course, of the Calgary Winter Olympics yes. when the one and only... Eddie the Eagle Edwards yes. took to the slopes and competed for Great Britain. And it was amazing to watch. Just what a character. Just absolutely fabulous. And we had Eddie on the show because they've made a film of his life, uh, which is just fantastic. A really lovely, heartwarming, feel-good film yeah. about his life. So it was lovely to see him, wasn't it? It was. And uh, here he is. Well, it is, it's entertainment. It's a movie, obviously. How much of it mm. is, is true mm. to your life story? Well, originally, Dexter told me last summer, the director, that there was only going about 5 or 10% of my life actually in the film. But having watched the film, they've actually taken a lot of other stuff that happened in my life and they've used it slightly out of sequence and slightly out of, um, you know, uh, chronological order, that kind of thing. Um, but I think there's actually probably more like 50% of the film uh, that is you know, pretty accurate, pretty true. So uh, a lot more than I originally anticipated. Um, you know, they said 5%, but it, it, there's a lot more in it, uh, and uh, it was fantastic. And uh, I, I mean, it makes me cry. Every, it makes me cry when I see the trailer, let alone <laughs> watching the film.